Hamilton's BNL3 opacimeter. Now before we can actually use the instrument, it needs to be running for about 15 minutes. So while ours warms up, I'm going to show you everything that you'll need to do your calibration. The first thing that you should have on hand is your opal glass standard. Now it's important to make sure that the opal glass standard stays clean. So you'll want to have a cleaning solution, and you'll also want non-abrasive, non-optically brightened cleaning wipes. The next thing that you should have are your paper verification standards. These consist of three standards in three different ranges. And finally, it's never a bad idea to have your Technodyne operator's manual on hand. Once you've gathered all these things together and your instruments warmed up, you're ready to go ahead and get started. Before we can move on to our first step, it's important to make sure that the glass standard and that the face of the cube are both clean. If they're not, you can just use that cleaning solution and the cleaning wipe to make sure that you get all the debris off of them. An important thing to remember, though, is that while you're handling your glass standard, you never want to handle it in the middle. You always want to handle it around the edges. Once you've got everything clean, you can go ahead and load your standard, and you're going to rotate the backing body so that the white body faces the standard, and you'll lower that slowly down. We're going to hold down the white body button until the numbers read 100. Then, we'll rotate the backing body so that the black body is against the standard. And the number that reads should be within plus or minus 0.3 of the number that's on your standard. That's the opacity. If it's not, you can refer to your operator's manual for instructions on adjusting the white body to bring the data in. Now that we've finished our primary calibration, our last step is just to verify calibration using our paper verification standards. You'll notice that each of them have circles numbered 1 through 10 on them. We'll go ahead and take the first one, and we'll load the number 1 so that it's centered over the light. And we'll load our white body. You're going to hold down the white body button until the number reads 100, and then you'll rotate the backing body until the black body is down. If your instrument is equipped with a printer, it'll go ahead and store the data for you. But if it's not, you'll need to write this number down. You're going to repeat those steps for numbers 2 through 10, and at the end, you'll have an average. That average should be within plus or minus 0.3 of the average you got on your printout. You're going to follow those same steps for the last two paper verification standards. Those averages should be within plus or minus 0.3 as well. If they're not, or if you have any other questions, you can refer to your Technodyne Operator's Manual, you can call Technodyne, or you can check out the website. <laughs>